Every year, more than one million people from all over the world come to visit the Anne Frank house, especially young people. In a diary, Anne Frank wrote, I will make my voice heard. Her fate reminds us of the tragic events of the past, but her diary and her voice inspires us to work for a better future. My name is Ronald Leopold. I'm the executive director of the Anne Frank House in Amsterdam. What you can see on this picture, which was taken by KLM Aero Carter Service in 1949, is a part of the historic city of Amsterdam. Uh, with one house highlighted, it is 263 Prinsengracht. It is a house very similar to all the other houses in the inner city of Amsterdam, but it hides a special history. It was in this house, in the annex in the back, that Anne Frank, uh, her family and four other persons were in hiding for persecution from the Nazis. We are here at the warehouse on the ground floor of the Anne Frank house and this is where a visit to the museum starts. It starts with an introduction video where we give information to our visitors about the Second World War and about the Holocaust. It is the context and the background of the life of Anne Frank. The museum is called the Anne Frank House, but actually it is not a house where Anne Frank lived. These were her father's business premises, where eventually the hiding place was organized. Her father was managing director of Opecta. It was a business manufacturing jam. The hiding place was upstairs, at the second floor, in the back, in the annex of this house. And where we are now is the warehouse on the ground floor. This place eventually meant also a risk to the family because people were working here while upstairs all the people were in hiding. Probably the most famous bookcase in the world covered the entrance to the hiding place. It worked like a door turning on hinges and covering the entrance here. It was here in the annex of the house that the hiding place was organized. We are here in the room of her parents and her sister and go to this room. The room where Anne Frank wrote her famous diary. It is one of the quotes from the diary. I long to ride a bike. I dance, whistle, look at the world, feel young and know that I'm free. This was what she wrote in December 1943 when she was already for a year and a half trapped in this small space, only seven square meters wide, and where she tried to make a living together with a man older than her father, she had to share that, this room with him, and this is where she wrote her diary. As you can see on the walls, she cut all kinds of pictures from magazines that she got from the outside world. We see pictures of celebrities, actors, royalties, famous artists, because that is also part of Anne Frank. She wanted to become a famous artist. A steep flight of stairs leads up to the third floor uh, where the other family was in hiding and that was being used as a living room during the day for all the eight people in hiding. As you can see, it was dark. It still is and it is the darkness of 25 months of hiding when they were afraid to be discovered, when all the windows were covered and that they were very afraid to use any electricity. June 12, 1942, Anne Frank turns 13 and gets this diary, which will be her favorite birthday present. She will write in a diary for the rest of her life, first in this book and then in two other notebooks that are being saved by Miep Gies, one of the helpers. Anne Frank wants to become a writer, not just a writer, she wants to become a famous writer. Unfortunately, Anne Frank could not finish her book. It was her father who, in 1947, fulfills her dream and publishes the diary of his daughter. 
This is Otto Frank, a few hours before the opening of the Anne Frank House to the public in 1960, up in the attic of the secret annex. The house serves as a memory to the tragic fate of his family, but also to, as a message to all of us.